baby bird in this? I would just chime in there. Yes, we think that this is a widespread feature of bird vision. Uh, we call this tetraplanic lens. Uh, these four types of power cones or photoreceptors in their eyes. And uh, a lot of times you might think that that just gives birds the ability to see all the colors we humans can see, plus some ultraviolet tacked on. But actually we think that birds can perceive an extra dimension of color. They have very interesting combination colors like ultraviolet plus green and ultraviolet plus red that we can't even imagine. These are uh, very special colors that we believe birds can perceive. That is just crazy. They've got the fourth, another dimension that you can mix colors with, right? They, exactly. If they can create a crazy purple we can't see or some other thing, we, we need a new, new word for it because we don't have that color. Yep. <laughs> That's you, right, and we... We do think that these colors exist in the environment. As you mentioned, they, they are producing some of these special colors with their feathers, and we know that flowers have some of these colors in them too. And so um, so these colors exist for these birds in their, in their natural world. Huh. Okay, I mean, here's a question I've, I've thought about this. Um, when did birds evolve this ability? And I'm asking you this, but they're asking you this because we talk about dinosaurs as being birds. Did, did dinosaurs have this ability? Oh, there's a good question. Cassie, wow. what do you think? Nice well, question. dinosaurs very likely had tetrachromatic vision, very similar to modern birds. Uh, this type of visual system exists in, in many fish and lizards, and it is ancient. It evolved early in um, vertebrates, and uh, you know, we know now that dinosaurs, uh, many dinosaurs had feathers, and probably very colorful feathers too. So it's not just that they had uh, tetrachromatic vision, probably, but they must have looked more stunning to each other than we can, we can even fathom.